Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Before we dive into the question, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. The question says the function first discard as many as white space characters as necessary until the first known white space character is found. Then, starting from this character, takes an optional initial plus or minus sign followed by as many numerical digits as possible and interpret them as a numerical value. The string can contain additional characters after those that form the integral number which are ignored and have no effect on the behavior of this function. If the first sequence of known white space characters in string is not a valid integral number or if no such sequence exists because either str is empty or it contains only white space characters, no conversion is performed. And if no valid conversion could be performed, we should return a zero. In the note, it is mentioned only white space or you can say space is considered to be the white space character and assume we are dealing with an environment which could only store integer within the 32 bit signed integer range which is minus 2 to the power 31 to 2 to the power 31 minus 1 if the numerical value is out of the range then we need to return maximum or minimum of this range so i have taken all the example given in the question if you see the example number one we were simply given with the string with the numerical value and we will simply return it as 42 but if we see the example number two first of all we have some space and it was clearly mentioned in the question that we need to discard the white space so we will discard it then we will take care of the sign we will use the sign as it is and we will use the numerical value as it is so it will become minus 42 if we come to example number three we will see for the white space we don't have it then we will see whether it have a sign or not it don't have any sign then we will see whether the first sequence is a numerical value or not yes it is then we will simply convert it here and we will see whether after that we have a word or a non numerical value or not so non numerical value we will not use all of this and we will simply return 4193 and if you come to example number 4 it don't have any white space it don't have any sign and the very first sequence is a non numerical and a non white space we will simply return zero and if we come to example number five if we see this number it is clearly out of range so we will simply return minus to the power 31 let's see how we're gonna take care of all the edge cases so for the white space we can use strip function it will take care of the white spaces after that for sign we can simply write if string 0 equal to minus or in the same way we can check for plus so in this way we can take care of minus and plus sign then we need to that whether the first sequence is not numeric and not white space or not for that we can use is numeric so this will tell us whether the given element is a numeric or not and then the same way we can check for the element after a numerical value and for simply this we can write whether string exists or not and for out of range first of all we will convert the string to the integer and then we will check whether it is out of the range or not so converting a string into an integer is the main gist of the problem so let's see how we can convert a string into an integer before that let's see suppose you are given with the number 456 so we can also represent this number like 4 into 10 this will be equal to 40 then we will add the next number into it 4 plus 5 now it will become 45 then again we will multiply 10 this will become 450 then again we will add the next number 450 plus 6 it will become 456 let's take one more example 123 so we can write it 1 into 10 it will become 10 then we will add the next number it will become 12 then again 12 into 10 it will become 120 now we will add the next number it will become 123 let's see one more example 789 first we will multiply 7 with 10 it will become 70 then we will add the next number it will become 78 
again we will multiply 10 it will become 780 and we will add next number it will become 789 so now let's see suppose you again with a uh, string 1 and if I say ORD 1 ORD will give us the SKI value of 1 that is 49 and SKI value of 0 is 48 and ORD take a string I was string 1 and if I take ORD of 1 and minus ORD of 0 it will give me 49 minus 48 1 let's take another example string 2 if I take ORD of 2 minus ORD of 0 this will be 50 minus 48 will be equal to 2 let's think string 10 ORD of 10 minus ORD of 0 will give us 58 minus 48 10 so from this pattern we are getting one thing that if I use ORD of any number in string minus ORD of 0 will give us an integer form of that particular string and using this pattern and using this representation I can convert a long string of numeric value into integer I hope you are clear with the concept if not let's see the code I am pretty sure after seeing the code you will be clear with the question so let's write the code let's first of all take care of our edge cases so first of all we will remove the white space and for that we will use strip and if not str we will simply return 0 and we will take a variable negative which will be false initially and we will take a out which will be 0 initially if str at index 0 is equal to minus then our negative will be true elif str at index 0 is equal to plus or negative will be equal to false elif if str at index 0 is not numeric then we will simply return 0 else we will convert our string at index 0 into integer using ORD now we will take a for loop for i in range from 1 to length of str because we have already converted our string at index 0 into an integer if string at index i is numeric then our out will be equal to out into 10 plus ORD string at index i minus ORD of string 0 and if not negative and our out is greater than equal to then we will simply return and if negative and our out is greater than equal to which means it is less than this number then we will simply return else we will simply break the loop if not negative we will simply return the out else we will return minus out So this was the code if you will copy this code and paste it on the lead code it will gonna definitely work you can find the code in the description below if you have any question please let me know i will try my level best to help you out thank you so much for watching the video please don't forget to subscribe